Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. Did this on YouTube a while back. Um, so I do still have an active game here. Uh, an active world, even. A world Z Z Zest Summon? Zest Summon? The Enchanted Plains? Um, which we're not going to continue with. I haven't genuinely haven't touched that since the YouTube series. Uh, Dwarf Fortress just never really clicked for me. We're going to start a new world today. I'm hoping that Adventure Mode is going to click a bit better with me. Um, I'm still hoping that like the, the fortress mode clicks eventually too, but I'm going to go with the defaults here. Just dive in. We have a lot to go through, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I did watch Blind play this a little. Um, watched Blind's tutorial. I sort of dipped in, dipped out. It's going to generate the world, that's fine. I see rocks, I see land, I see ocean. I see what looks like a volcano up there toward the right. Oh, it's like a little volcano. In the midwinter of year four. Okay, that, that disappeared. In the early autumn of 53, the dragon in era Sylveswelter, the ivory. Too fast, all gone. The peaceful council of the nation of keys founded vine chains. Okay. And we see that, we see things popping up, don't we? We see little settlements and fortresses pop up on their screen there. Yeah, the world generates and changes and roads get constructed. I see roads, I think. That's all good. Um, yeah, we've got options. Play now or keep world and return to the main menu. Can we scroll through these at all? No, but we can get a sense for like, what, what is this? Sushafo Haposhi silken markets. A human town. Okay. Up here? What's this? This is another town, right? A human hamlet? Okay, I see humans. I see humans. What about this? Tomb. Okay. Over here? Dwarven hillocks. Yeah, okay. Great. Let's just uh, play now. We haven't picked adventure mode yet, have we? We've just generated the world. You generate the world and then you pick the mode you want to play in, be it... Um, Fortress, Adventure, or Legends is the third one, I think. Adventure mode just entered beta, so we are... Uh, it's going to be a bit buggy. That is the main thing that uh, Blind was talking about on his stream yesterday. I watched, I dipped in and out of it. Uh, Blind had several crashes. Hopefully we're going to be fine there. We're going to be an adventurer. And a couple of weeks are going to pass. Granite 100. Oh, yeah, we're in the year 100. Month of Granite. And we get a few options. We could pick Ordinary for the most freedom. All features are accessible, but you'll uh, you'll receive no direction. We can receive. We can go for Hero, where we have an adventure. There will be some initial and ongoing direction. It's a work in progress. Or we could go for Chosen, which is not ready yet. It's coming soon. For the most direction, you'll have a supernatural parent or patron who is always involved. So basically, you're a demigod. And I suppose the uh, your god parent, your supernatural parent, is guiding you on your adventure. I think we do need some guidance, so I think I'm going to go for hero. I'm not sure. Normal difficulty seems fine. They only affect starting skills and equipment. Okay. Onward to character creation. Where we could pick a dwarf, an elf, a fist of Kemuzin, a fist of night. What are these? Tell me about a dwarf? Talk, tell me. You're not going to tell me anything. You're just showing me their settlements. Yeah, okay, so the, the map does change over here. Can we zoom in at all? No. Fist of Kemuzin have settlements there. Fist of night. There. Goblins. Settled all over the place. Humans. There are a lot of humans. Tons warrior. I don't know, like, are these specific races or are they cults or... I don't know. We can also be an intelligent wilderness creature where we get a ton more options. Although I did, in watching Blind's tutorial, uh, learn that, like, some of these are going to be pretty bad options in terms of, like, okay, sure, you can be a beast man, but if you're a he mentioned one specifically. He mentioned like Hamster Man. Is that in here? Um.
Hamster Man may have been a joke. There is no Hamster Man here. Could be a Hedgehog Man. But basically, if you pick like a Hare Man, I guess, or a Groundhog Man, you're going to be maybe too small. Or a Green Tree Frog Man. You're maybe going to be too small to carry enough equipment to, um, to survive long journeys or something like that. I don't so much mind about that. I'm very tempted by Green Tree Frog Man. Horseshoe Crab Man. We all become crabs eventually. Carcinization. Ibex Man. Impala. Jackal. Jaguar. Ooh. Ooh, a Jaguar Man. You wouldn't mind that. Kangaroo Man. Kestrel Man. Kiwi Man. Leopard Man. Leopard Gecko Man. Leopard Seal Man. Lion Man. Loon Man. Lorikeet Man? There are so many. There are so many. Is my cat in this room? Hello, Oscar. Welcome to the room. Um, Oscar's going to be... Yep, okay. Are you joining me? I'm talking about becoming a cat man, Oscar. Hello. Oscar is now on my lap. You might have to move eventually, Oscar. But okay. Uh, Osprey Man, Ostrich Man, Pangolin Man, Parakeet Man. I'm just listing different types of man, Oscar. Slug Man. <laughs> Snail man. Snowy owl man. What do you think? What do you think I should be? I'm very open to your opinion. What if I were a leopard man? See, Oscar's a cat, but he's actually a dog. Aren't you, Oscar? You're a dumb looking dog. Oh, green tree frog man. Grasshopper man. Oh my god. Okay. I, okay, so I know this is a bad idea. Maybe Green Tree Frog Man. Or maybe... Maybe, what was it, Leopard Man? Jaguar Man. Tempted by Jaguar Man or Green Tree Frog Man. If anybody were watching, I'd ask for your input, but nobody's watching. Oscar, what do you think? Jaguar or Green Tree Frog? Would you stop? Would you stop? Just make yourself comfortable and stop. Oh my god. Uh, let's be a Green Tree Frog Man. Let's, uh, let's go with the consequences that's going to be. From Atuparapasor, the robust death conf? What? The robust what? Okay, happy with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll select Atuparapasor. Um, okay. You emerged from the wilds and managed to prove yourself to the locals. Now you are finally a hearth person of the great Sathar Quilsama in Bent Panther. A human hamlet. And destiny is calling. Home? Oh, we can change this. We can change from Bent Panther to Smith Fortresses to Aged Lock. Moth Hood. You emerged from the wilds and came to the Butcher in Hoplud, a human town. Are they all human towns? A human hamlet. It's really... We're choosing a location. I like that's by the sea. Although... We're we're a frogman. We're gonna die fairly quickly, I, I suppose. Tail jail, tail jail is a fun name. We came to the butcher in tail jail. Oh, came to be a butcher in tail jail, a human hamlet. I'm a tree frog butcher. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll go with that. Can I choose skills or occupation? Oh, okay. Butcher, tanner, dyer, planter. Oh, what makes sense for this little guy? What makes sense for a little um? Mechanic. I do love the idea of a mechanic tree frog. Administrator. Or Dr. Tree Frog. Papermaker. Gelder. Um, we've got a lot of other options too. What did I say? Mechanic? Miner, woodworker, carpenter, bowyer, bowyer, woodcutter, stoneworker, mason, hunter. We're going to go for... Um, what did I like the sound of? It was uh, the... Beekeeper? Engineer? No, it was uh, it was more specific than engineer. It was mechanic. Mechanic. We became a mechanic. And beliefs. None. We don't even get any options. I assume for other races we'd have options. We'll accept that background. Goddamn. Skills? Okay. Skill remaining 95. Okay. So we are going to be above average strength. Okay, I see. Agility toughness. Well, we're a tree frog, so let's get like high agility. 
Um, I'm going to boost endurance a little bit. Attributes remaining 15. Recuperation. We'll get recuperation up a bit. Tend to go disease resistance, analytical ability. As a mechanic, focus, willpower, creativity, intuition, patience, memory. I don't know what some of these do, you know. Social awareness, empathy. Let's get... Um, let's get musicality, but no real reason. And let's get intuition. I'm going to have to do some research about like character builds for this when it officially drops. It's still the beta right now. I wonder if you can join a religion in adventure mode. I, in the previous screen, I was, uh, I was given the option to pick beliefs, but as a tree frog, there were no options. Or as, I don't know, um, I don't know what goes into that, but I think you can join a religion. You might accept those attributes and skills. Uh, his skin is green, his eyes are black. A green person with the head of a green tree frog. Yep, that, that sounds fitting. Except, except. Personality. He personally has a negative view of those who exercise power over others. Doesn't care one way or the other about romance. And doesn't care if others take the time to master skills. He dreams of becoming a legendary warrior. Yeah, let's go with that. My little tree frog dude's going to be a legendary warrior, sure. You can go to a church monastery. Legends mode sometimes characters start believing a religion after viewing a totem in a temple. I was watching Blind's live stream yesterday. I think he was talking about... Well, someone on YouTube was talking about the um, uh, the options available when you, when you get in the game, like what you'll be able to do. You can convert between different faiths. Maybe that's how. I'm not sure. I generally I haven't even played uh, Fortress mode enough to know this game well. Change dream slash goal if possible. Or randomized personality. No, I'm happy with the goal of becoming a legendary warrior. <laughs> Accept that personality. Equipment. Okay. Uh, what what can I do here? Oh, you know, if we go back to. I didn't pick skills. So I, I should really do that. Not a fighter, not a swordsman, not an archer, not an observer. Okay, you're a tree frog. I think you're going to be a competent swimmer. Uh, and as a tree frog, I think a competent climber. Go for skilled. Yeah, let's go skilled climber. Ambusher tracker, rider, shield user, armor user. I think you're going to need armor. I don't know if there's going to be any made in your size, though. Because Dwarf Fortress takes all that into account. It's ridiculous. Making your own cults will be fun. I know you can... That would be fun. You can make... You can write your own literature. I don't know if you can... Like, develop your own religion. Uh, hang on, not carpenter. You're a mechanic, so is is mechanic here going to be a skill? Musician, not singer, not stringed instrumentalist. Dancer, persuader, negotiator, liar. Um, I think you're a novice comedian. Engraver, animal trainer, animal caretaker. No, 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 no. Armor smith. As a mechanic, what would metal crafter? This whole character is just going to be a throwaway because I, I am not thinking that we'll survive. Cheesemaker, brewer, beekeeper. Oh, you're a talented mechanic already, so that was already depth mechanic, expert mechanic. Gotcha. So the um, the background we chose does affect this. Fraser, diagnostician, not a surgeon. Let's get some like combat skills at least. Let's get adequate swordsman or higher competent swordsman. Competent swordsman and yeah, bowman as well. And that's it. We'll accept those. We already dealt with appearance. Personality was fine. Equipment. Let's make sure that you get a sword since you're a swordsman. Crafting isn't in the current build. Oh, okay. Yeah, still in, still early beta, public beta, 
but um yeah hopefully no crashes i do i know it had it, in uh blind's stream yesterday it was crashing a fair bit do we have a sword or leather cloth oh dingo leather what oh there's only that weapon a copper spear Small nurse shark leather tunic. Can I? Oh no. Add extra. Oh, my items. Available items. Okay. Right. Copper spear. Not ideal. What about uh, a different weapon? Like a, a sword rather than. Like an iron short sword? Let's uh, search for. Short. Can we get in steel? No. Can we get an iron? Iron short sword. So let's do that. That's going to cost 100 points. Equipment and pet points remaining. We get one of those. We'll remove the copper spear. Quite happy with the rest for now, I think. You said something about pet points there, didn't you? We mean pet points. Boys, shields, legwear, instruments, meat, fish, plants. A bag would be uh, useful, maybe. Oh, hang on, wait. We can go to the next screen for mounts and pets. So a mount would be good. What's uh, what's our tree frog gonna ride or or fly? Can you ride or fly? You're a tree frog. You could you could ride a cat. Just mighty tree frog atop a cat steed. Though I don't know if uh the game's gonna be happy with that. Eagle? Oh, imagine a tree frog riding an eagle going to battle with a sword. One hundred percent. Uh, try that somehow. <laughs> and a, a hedgehog. I'm thinking if the if the uh, if the eagle plan fails, what about a horse? I don't know. I don't know what we can and can't ride. I'm just gonna go with the the eagle. Ready to adventure, I guess. Yeah, door fort. Door fort. Bit of door fort adventure mode which uh, just released into public beta yesterday. So we're going to see... Um, we're, we're, a, we're a tree frog man, and we're going to try to survive as a tree frog man for a little bit. You finally got your equipment together, such as it is. Now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you were going to go. Perhaps some of your friends here can remind you. Okay. Hey. It's me. Tree frog, and it's you, human woodcrafter, Gason Kisnas to Kristidraf. How you doing, guy? Oh, okay. I can click to move. You know, but genuinely, who? And there's my eagle. Uh, genuinely, guy. Can we? Can we like talk? Can we talk. We can talk. This is the button for talk. What's uh? I should be seeing. When I hover over these, I should be seeing like. What the shortcut is for it. Click a creature to start a new conversation. Assume an identity. Coming soon. Wow. Click a creature to start a new conversation. Start a new conversation with the human wood. Uh, yeah. Hey. How you doing, human woodcrafter? What will you say? Great. Greet listener. Okay. Yeah, let's greet. How you doing? Hello, it is good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you, my guy. Um, okay. Let's just hop outside. Eagle, are you coming? Good eagle. Uh, okay, we're gonna just we're gonna wander around a bit. I don't know why I'm flashing like green and gray. I don't know what my size. Is. I don't. I know nothing because like the game is so detailed, but you don't. Uh, get the full expression of that detail in the tile set. Um, 
I think so. I think I'm a tiny, tiny little frogman. I think I am a tiny frogman. We could interact with nearby objects, search for bugs, not hugs, climb or hold terrain, jump where, talk to somebody, start a performance, craft or butcher, not yet implemented, use ability, strike or wrestle, continue active wrestling, shoot requires a ranged weapon. I do have a bow, I think. We could yield. I have a weapon drawn. I could click to strap it. I'm not prone. I could click to go prone. Okay. Where's travel? Travel's like over here, isn't it? We could also sleep or wait a while or build coming soon. Travel. Let us not travel. Oh wait, I don't want to. I don't want to wait a while now. End travel. Toggle sneaking. View the map. Yeah, end travel. We're fine where we are. Where's my eagle? Eagle! Eagle? Have I lost my eagle? I, had, I, I was a tree frog with an eagle pet. I was hoping I'd be able to ride the eagle. I'm not sure if I can ride the eagle. I definitely can't ride the eagle now that the eagle is gone. Human. Where's eagle? How do I communicate with eagle? Set movement options. Sprint, stroll, creep. No, with with that's fine. Done with that. Toggle sneaking. Set combat options. Open my inventory. Okay, cool. Iron short sword. Bunch of stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to read any of the information here. View my status. Okay, that's useful. I'm a 34 year old tree frog. Called Esme Bone Girls. Esme Bone Girls. Yeah, female tree frog called Esme Bone Girls. There's what that says. Good. Uh, I disdain power, avoid fights, austere, cheerless, quick to give up, prone to discord. Okay. Yeah, not great. Healthy though. No official position. I'm a competent swordsman and bowman. Great. Um, items. I got all this. Health. Sure. Skills. Personality being. We went over this. Groups and relations. Eagle, where are you, Eagle? I want to. I want to talk to my my Canvan Aquosidur tame Eagle. I'm not sure where you went. Um, generally, Eagle has flown off somewhere, and we can no longer see Eagle. So we're just gonna wander about for a bit. We should be in like a little human town. Is it capital T to travel? It is, and we can get a sense for wider world. Genuinely, I, I don't know what to be doing, though, so is it D to end trouble? I think it is. Yeah, D. Okay, tree frog. Let's just uh, wander off and uh, get a bit lost, shall we? Where in the world do we want to go? Can I, like, can I look around the map before I set off? Can I zoom out? No. I don't know. No significant structures. There's a... I'm afraid to click, because I think if I click, I'm going to set off traveling. But we're in a little human hamlet right now, with uh, very little very little sense for what to be doing as a little tree frog. But I'm a tree frog mechanic. I, I apparently work as a mechanic here. This is obviously not a mechanic shop. Hey, Gason. Uh, we've got a couple more folks here. Let me talk to... Like, you maybe? Start a new conversation. Bypass greeting. New menu. Bring up specific incident or rumor. Ask how listener is feeling. Inquire about any troubles. Uh, the human pumper, blah, blah, blah. The human fish dissector. A few weeks ago. Iki our pig became a holy scholar of the new faith, replacing Zikab test fame. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do about that? Probably nothing. What about you? Can we talk to you? That new conversation. Bypass greeting and... Uh, you could join me if you want. 
I have an eagle. Claim this site for yourself. Group naming menu. Ask for permission to stay for a day. Ask about this site's neighbors and ask about the surrounding area. Uh, yeah, tell me a bit about that. If you have a task, do it properly. What are you saying exactly? Boyish flags is in the field of combat. In 89, Ursi Landsmile of the Perplexing League persecuted the crystalline doctrines in boyish flags. Several people were expelled and some sacred sites were desecrated. Okay. So you all have no direction for me. Where's my eagle? Gen generally, I just want to know where my eagle is, man. View my companions. Not visible. Where did you go? Camvan. God damn. Alright. We're going to wander off and everything's going to be fine. What is this? A well. Okay. How am I for water, by the way? I don't know what uh, is the inventory button. Aye. That would make sense. Uh, well, we've got a sword. We've got, yeah, gloves. Very much shark leather. We're looking for... Water three in our water skin, presumably. I don't know what the um what quantity could it hold if I wanted it to though. If I wanted to interact with this, would I be able to? Interact with nearby objects. No, we can make a campfire or get loamy sand. Okay. Well, let's just set off out into the world then, frog guy, and uh, we'll see what happens. Which way do we want to go? North would lead to river, as would west. I guess we'll head south through through our little town here, and uh, stick to the roads, then, then out into these further lands, okay? Do we have a sense of, like, time passing? I don't think I see such a thing on the screen at the moment. There are other settlements, it looks like. If I were to, um... end travel here, it would be in a field, right? Hey, eagle! There you are. Uh, eagle, I want to... I wish to, I, I, if it's possible, I'd like to, I'd have to like mount the eagle, make campfire, make campfire, make campfire, so many make campfires, ignite dense reed grass, can I mount a freaking eagle, search for bugs, climb or hold terrain, jump where, talk to somebody, I am not sure, I don't think that I can. Set movement options, toggle sneaky. No, 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 no. View your companions and tactical settings or switch party members. Hotkey C. Yeah, but I can't interact with anything from that menu. Gonna write an angry letter to Dwarf HQ if Frogman can't ride an eagle. I, I, yeah. It, this is a probably a user error thing, though. I don't know. These are horses, right? A stray, muscular horse. I assume approaching a horse is perfectly safe. If I were to attempt to interact with objects. You know, we still don't have like a mount horse thing. So, eagle, can we talk? Start a new conversation with the eagle. The eagle. Canvan Acosidur. Neutral attitude. Um, hello, my eagle. Are you ready to learn? I'm asking. And then it just kicks you out of the... Continue conversation with the eagle. Uh... Any troubles of late, my dear eagle? How's life here? The eagle just doesn't respond. 
the eagle just doesn't respond. But how would I, what do you want to do? Continue conversation with the eagle camp, view the eagle, make campfire, ignite dance. Oh, uh, so I think that, yeah, I think we can't mountain, mountain eagle. I assume it would be possible if it were like attack, combat, move to dense hearth grass or bent grass. Uh, continue conversation with the eagle. We could continue our conversation, but he's not very talkative. She's not very talkative, sorry. Whereas if I interact with a horse, I could start a new, brand new conversation with the horse. View the horse, make campfire, ignite, claim a stray horse, tame, north as pet. Mount stray horse, tame, north, okay. Are you tame? We could have a conversation. Maybe that would tame you. What if I claimed you? And then what if I mounted the horse? I mount the fat horse. Excellent. I'm on a horse. The fat horse stands up. Okay, it was lying down. And now I'm riding a horse. We can't ride the eagle. God damn. Okay, there probably are flying mounts that we could ride. But anyway, we're now on a fat horse. Everything's fine. I'm a tree frog man on a fat horse. I have no idea what the size of the tree frog man is. Genuinely, I want to know. Can we... Okay, that's just clicking off the screen there. View my status. Like, Do I have a sense for like my height or... I'm agile. I know that. I picked agile. Okay. Well, now we have a horse, which is progress. We've done something. Genuinely. Uh, let us continue our our travels then. Where? I don't know. I'm not sure if we can get like a zoomed out view of the world at all. What options have we here? View the map. Okay, yeah. Great. So I don't know if things are like sepia toned. It looks like, because yeah, the, we're inside a circle here. So that's what we can see. And then further afield is maybe what we uh what we we know but haven't necessarily visited is outside our range of view. Can I exit map mode? Thank you. And we'll go to just continue our journey. Just keep going until something happens. As I was saying, I struggled to get into, like, War Fortress's fortress mode. Because it just seemed like nothing was really happening. Let's exit this mode now. That's the nature of the game, isn't it? There's just there's tons of things that... There is a bridge. Fantastic. Tons of things that can happen. And you sort of make your own story, find your own story in it all. I've discovered a river. Okay, I could have figured that out for myself, actually. I've crossed a bridge along the river. Great stuff. And I know the world is like enormous as well. Let me, because this is the way I know how to get here. View map, what's that? M. Yeah, see, so now behind us, there's all of that sepia turned as well. So we can see what we can see. We can see the bit that's colored. It looks like there's a settlement to the west which I might head off toward is it this one here it's maybe this one here I just uh approach am I in a settlement now there's also what looks to be something over here what's this don't know fortress of some kind committing this strange water road to the files yeah very oh I'm a good swimmer actually I could swim I don't know if my horse or eagle could swim, but I could swim. I forget how to access it. It's D. I was expecting to see buildings. Why am I not seeing buildings? Come horse. Come eagle. Here they are. Here's the buildings. So we've gone south and we've, we've found a new town. There's plants overgrown out in front of everything. Are you guys built right into the rock face here? Wait, what? Uh, what? Um, 
what race are you all? Are you guys human? Human furnace operator. Good to meet you, human furnace operator. I guess we figure out like more talking stuff because I'm figuring out the talking thing. Yeah, we can click a guy to talk to him, start a new conversation with, greet you, and then we can we can also right click you to continue conversation with, and then pick any of a number of different options. Very rich conversation menu there. Eagles are notoriously not natural swimmers. Okay, that's not what they. They spend a lot of time doing the other thing. The sky swimming. Yes. Uh, ooh, express new, express my emotions. I would, excuse me, person I just met. I would like to express my emotions to you. I uh, I lack satisfaction upon improving tracking. Do you think? Do you think maybe you could do something about that? Say something general about my emotional state or thoughts. The human firmness operator, Thrun uh, de, de Pugrin, a bandit gang calling itself the Nourishing Banks. You're just ignoring my feelings, guy. You're just telling me nonsense. What is this? Oh, what I said was I don't mind stirring things up, apparently. To which he responded, a bandit gang calling itself the Nourishing Banks, led by all Stuck Nobles has been harassing people right here on the streets of Smoke Cloud. How dare they? Led by Al Stucknobles. Can I can I can I ask you a, about that? Um ask for the whereabouts of the human Yeah. Where is he? Where is he right now? Teacher Owl is in the field of combat. Now is the field of combat a pub or is it like an actual field of combat. Is he out? Or is he... Where is that? It's not very helpful, to be honest. Because I... I know nothing of the places. Um, I'll have a look around. I'll see if I can see... I'll studio blah blah blah. Uh, where are we now? Like, what building are we in? Do we Can we get like a, a name for the building? Or do the buildings not have names? Shrine to... Well, shrine, okay. Uh, I kind of wish Esk would take me back out of that menu, but it doesn't. Okay. So there's a, a bandit man messing up the streets around here. What is this? Get Lemmy Sand, make campfire. Okay, cancel. A bag of something that I can't interact with. Come along, frogman. If we see the guy, we will deal with the guy, for we are a mighty frogman. Just, just more people. What happened to my eagle again? My eagle just keeps on flying off and disappearing. We've reached the end of this... However, we can walk up hills, obviously. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course we can. Why wouldn't we be able to walk up a hill? Where uh, should we go back to the map, get a bit more of a sense for like the world around us? Like the actual map. Yeah, so this is as much as we know. Why are these flashing? What are these? Um The Field of Combat. The rat contents of Daubing. Temperate grassland, temperature hot. Trees sparse. What about this one? What's what's this? The field of combat, the wreck of... Okay, so this is the field of combat. This whole area here. The erased water. The steps of practice. So the area we're in right now, all of it is called the field of combat. Uh, and we know nothing... What, the, what, what is with the flashing, though? It doesn't really tell me. doesn't tell me. We should investigate that fort, though. I'm going to go there. Oh, um... Uh, can I escape this menu? Press M to get back out of it? Okay. Let's go over to that fort. We'll see, uh... What this place is all about. 
It won't let me move any closer to it. I, I'm going to assume this is the front. There are certain objects on the map that we can't get too close to in this mode. Uh, so I think at this point we have to exit the uh, the overworld travel mode and just approach on foot like this. Yeah. There we go. And we have entered and it's just like a just like a human human fort place. I should learn what this key is. Hang on. Let's just right click and human animal trainer. Hey, I've got some animals. I have an eagle. Neutral attitude toward me. We're going to greet you. I don't know if it does anything, but ah hello. I am Artuk Livid Father. Praise mountains. Yeah, good. Yeah, praise them. Great. Love mountains. Continue conversation, and we could bring up a specific incident or rumor, ask them how they're feeling, inquire about any troubles, or trade or settle debts. Coming soon, so we can't trade yet. Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff still coming soon. Place request, make demand, or issue order. Investigate or interrogate. Uh, let's not ask them to join us. Gift a large pet or mount. I have this fat horse. Would you like this fat horse? Bring up specific... I have this useless eagle. Would you like this useless eagle? Uh, bring up specific incident or rumor. Sure. Ooh, spread rumor of Idor Gorgrold's presence in the depths of scaling. Have you heard about this? Have you heard about it? Have you heard about Idor Gorgrold's presence in the depths of scaling? If you ask me, it's a terrible thing. The human animal trainer. It is terrifying. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, my guy. You you and me. We're on the same page. Um It is terrible. State opinion Oh, okay. What will I say about the beast? Hang on. Oh, okay, so a ferocious, unnatural beast has become the bane of our people. The depths of scaling is in the beak of indignation. Seek this place if you hunt Idor Gorgrald, the yeti. Oh, a yeti. What will I say about the beast? Tell me the whereabouts of it, and I'll deal with it. Me, the tree frog. The depths of scaling is in the beak of indignation. Great. Yeah. I think I already knew that. Seemingly, I already knew that. Um, gift, claim, ask about the surrounding area. The Prairie of Connecting is a day's travel to the southwest. Prairie of Connecting. Peregrine falcons roam freely out there. I have an eagle. Sort of like a peregrine falcon. We should visit. Where, was, where did you say it was? Like, a day's travel to the southwest. We'll go to the Prairie of Connecting. A day's travel southwest. Thank you. Yeah. Let me, uh, I'll just be on my way. Prairie of Connecting, a day's travel southwest. I could do with like having a journal. Is this a journal? Coming soon. Okay. If we're able to take notes in the game, we uh, can't travel through the castle yet. Um, that hopefully is going to let us take notes in the game. I don't think we can right now. We can write a book if we want, but we uh, are not going to be able to. Uh, without proper equipment, but it also would not be that helpful. So they said southwest, I think. Days travel southwest to the prairie of connecting. Can I get a sense for that? On the map? Where am I? I'm here. Southwest is... That's still the field of combat. This is field of combat. That's water. It's an ocean. Steps of practice. Dune of Busters, Hills of Amber, Steps of Practice, The Barbs of Medicine. Wait, what was that? The Step of Conflagrations. Great name. The Just Swamp. The Hills of Carnage. Let us... We have to avoid the ocean, though. Is the thing. And there's no easy way across that ocean. 
Human, there's a human town there. Maybe see if they've got boats. And I can cross on a boat. I have to assume that's a possibility. Let us map and then... Hang on, wait, back to the map because it's... Yeah, it's still south of ways and then... Gotcha. You must, I must move away from the surrounding obstacles. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me cancel that then. We just need to get away from the castle before we can... Uh, do the more fast travel thing. That much I do know. We should be a decent way away from it at this point. I'm having to use cursor keys. I don't know if I've got any option for dialogue, um, diagonal movement. But I do have up, down, left, right movement. It's not like Cataclysm where I've got HJKL and then YU, BN diagonals. Uh, it might allow diagonal movement if I had a numpad, but I'm on a laptop so I don't have a numpad. But we should be far enough away now that I can pick up my map. And yeah, we mainly want to be heading west, a little bit to the south. Gotcha. So I will travel west. There's definitely a road there. Go a bit to the south. And again, I'm not seeing like anything that indicates passage of time on this screen. So I don't know how long this journey is actually taking me. Let me take a look at the map again. Just west from here to get to the human town. Which is the idea. There you are. And I'm, I'm hopeful. I would like a boat, but I'm guessing that's... Uh, Maybe not going to be possible, because you're not right on the coast, are you? You're just, just near it. You do have a river. Do you have a docks or anything? If, it, if you did, it'd be on this... Uh... Oh, I can't get any closer than that. I can take the roads. Okay, yeah. That actually makes sense, yeah. I can't go through the housing structures, but I can take the roads. That makes perfect sense. We'll, st we'll, we'll stop here and take a look. I've discovered a river again. Yes, another bizarre water road. Okay. But no boats. No boats. Can I read this sign? View the Plumwood Woven Clothing Shop. I'm alright without woven clothing, thanks. Gem Cutter's Shop sign. Okay, so we're in... I think we're in Plumwood. And that's the Gem Cutter's Shop. We had, if we had like stuff, I wow. It's just full of tables, dudes. You got like a serious table issue. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just a frog. Just an ordinary frog. Out trying to do business. Uh, clothing imports. Clothing imports. Is it really? Oh, it is as well, yeah. What about this one? General imports. No, oh, man. There's no, like... Come, eagle. We'll take horse. We'll follow the river. The only problem with following the river is it's going to lead to an ocean, and then we're not going to be able to cross the ocean because we don't have a boat. What is this structure here? I didn't. I didn't, don't recall this on the map. It's just a bridge. Okay, fair enough. I do like how they're handling like what you can see and what you can't see, shadows and stuff. Like I, I can't see what's behind this tree. I just step to here and go around it, and I can't see the other side. I like that. It's uh, very classic rogue. Like CDDA does this, but it'd be cool to see the whole. I remember the train on the other side thing that CDDA has. I was trying to follow the river. Where'd it go? How, how, how do I lose a thing like a river? There it is. Just follow it. Follow the water road. I see objects and things and stuff. 
We've been traveling for a while. I should check my status as well soon. I haven't had any notifications about it. Oh, hang on. Wait, we have little icons. Are you hungry, thirsty, and something else? Hungry, very thirsty, drowsy. Okay. That makes sense. Well, we will eat, drink, and sleep soon. If you want. Um, I'm not sure how to do any of those things. Where is this river taking me, man? Oh, we're, we're close. We'll uh, follow it a ways. And we, ha we can't get too close to the ocean, so we have to stop there. Yeah. Ooh, hello, crab. I think I can take a crab. Hey, crabby. You are a living crab, correct? Start a new conversation with crab? View the crab. I want to attack the crab. Really start a conflict with the crab. Absolutely, yeah? Confirm. How do I... Can we nego no, negotiations off the table. I'm attacking the crab. We can start a new conversation with the crab. I don't... Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm attacking the crab now. It's too late. I tried to start a conversation, but we attacked it instead. The fat horse kicks the crab in the right fourth leg from behind. The right fourth leg from behind. The right fourth leg from behind. So it's front right leg, right? Surely it's front right leg. The right fourth leg from behind with his left rear hoof. And the injured part is smashed. The detail in this game is stupid. The injured part is smashed into the body. An unrecognizable mass. An artery has been opened by the attack. You punch the crab in the left second leg from behind with your right hand. And the injured part is smashed into the body. An unrecognizable mass. An artery has been opened by the attack. The fat horse charges at the crab from behind. The crab looks surprised by the ferocity of the fat horse's onslaught. <laughs> That's great. The, the crab looks surprised by the ferocity of the fat horse's onslaught is a great sentence. The fat horse collides with the crab. The crab is knocked over and tumbles backward. Okay, there is more. Uh, the crab stands up. The fat horse kicks the crab in the right third foot from behind with his right foot hoof, right front hoof, and the injured part collapses into a lump of gore. An artery has been opened by the attack. The force twists the right third leg of, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Okay. Is it... I would like to continue our conversation while we uh, continue attacking you. Ask for it to cease hostilities. Did it kick all of the legs off? It kicked some of the legs off. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna just, we're just gonna go up to this crab, beat it up a bit, and then ask for it to cease hostilities. The crab does have a neutral attitude, yeah. Cease your hostilities, crab. The fat horse kicks the crab in the right first foot from behind with his left front hoof. Horse, stop! And the injured part explodes into gore. An artery has been opened by the attack. The force pulls the right first leg and the severed part sails off in an arc. The fat horse charges at the crab from behind. The crab looks surprised by the ferocity of the fat horse's onslaught. And yet still neutral. Um, the fat horse collides with the crab. The crab is knocked over and tumbles backward. The fat horse kicks the crab in the right second foot from the side with his right rear hoof and the injured part explodes into gore. Let us stop this pointless fighting! <sighs> Tree Frog just says, let us stop this pointless fighting. <laughs> let us stop, Crab. We mean you no harm, Crab. What happened there? Did it, it, there was a little heart symbol. Continue conversation. Why is there a little heart symbol? Is that like a, I think it might be a health status, not a, the Crab isn't expressing its love towards us. Okay, continue conversation with Crab. Neutral attitude. I'd like to t <laughs> I'd like to bring up rumors with the Crab. Incre ask, ask how listener is feeling. How are you feeling right now? 
The crab has bled to death. Okay. Well, shoot. That'll happen. Can we, uh... Yeah. Okay. That was very silly and I loved it. Crab is crab is ill. Yeah, I think I think the crab. It was like a status condition thing, and it, the crab was uh, bleeding, uh, and has bled to death. Uh, we tried to get it to stop. We did try. We 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 talked about ending this this pointless violence, but would the crab listen? Let us. Um, I don't know. We could get crab blood for one. Pumped camel leather backpack with something. I'm actually, if I can't read the whole thing, I can't. I'm never going to be able to tell if I'm supposed to do that thing. And it's not particularly clear. Like if I click it, what's going to happen? I don't know. Fill rope reed pouch with crab blood. Water skin with. So it's probably crab blood that we're going for there. But okay. Uh, cancel all that action. What were we to do? What were we to do, horse? What were we to do? Let's make camp and eat. Not crab. I don't think there was much crab left. Uh, can I make a campfire? Awesome, I can. Can I... Heat nurse... Okay, I can heat a bunch of stuff. Can I cook anything? Eat. Do I have anything I can eat? Prepared cod intestines. Oh, delicious. Spotted wobgong. That's a water skin. We have water, plumwood, carving knife, rope, reed pouch. Actually, proposed gold coin, silver coin. Oh, that's right, isn't it? Like, the different settlements have different currencies. I think it's good. Anyway, but like, they... I, well, I don't know. I generally don't know. We have some intestines. I guess we're going to eat the prepared cod intestines. What will you do with them? View them, drop them, remove them, put on the horse, eat them, heat prepared cod intestines near campfire, throw them. Uh, I don't know if we want to cook them or not. They're prepared. Eat them. You heat the prepared cod intestines times five. Okay, do I... Do I still have those in my inventory? Are they hot? Bad cod intestines. There's nothing more about them. I don't know if they're hot or not. We're going to eat them. I eat the prepared cod intestines. Am I still hungry? Hungry, very thirsty, drowsy. Yeah, we're going to sleep soon. We're going to sleep soon. Don't worry about that. Uh... We could have some more delicious, delicious prepared cod intestines. Uh, eat them. Yeah, that's E. So I can just hit E if I want. I have a cat sat on my lap right now, so my other hand is petting a cat. Eat the prepared cod intestines. I'm no longer hungry. Let's deal with our thirst next then. We have... Um, we don't have much water. Uh, drink the water. I don't know if we're going to have enough water. Drink the water, because we've only got two more. What's my new status condition there? Nauseous. Yeah, yeah. Prepared cod intestines will do that, probably. Uh, we probably want to save the last bit of water. Open space, dense. We're going to try to sleep. Sleep or wait a while. Would you like to sleep or wait a while? Sleep for eight or until dawn. You will sleep as necessary for eight hours. Let's go ahead and do that. And Frog will be still alive in the morning. I regain consciousness. Great. What do I see here? Get Pete. Vomit. Okay. So Frog did vomit a bit in the night. That's fine. We're going to be okay. Um, it's all the violence and the intestines. Bit of both. What's this? Is it? 
Ice. Hey, what do you know? The ocean has frozen over. I wretch, that's fine. We can cross the ice, horse. What good fortune. Still don't know where Eagle is. You're not Eagle, are you? Who are you? You're a muscular osprey. Very good. Very good. Those are some good looking muscles, osprey. Uh, how, how goddamn big is this ocean now? Shift T to get... Oh. Oh, ocean big, huh? Ocean very big. This is not ideal. What's flashing? What's this? Tropical ocean, the erased water. Sure. Where we are is... Temperate ocean, temperature warm. Right, that ice is probably going to not remain ice. Uh, which, it has to be said, is a bit of a problem. Probably. We're definitely not crossing the whole ocean this way. It's funny, I am holding left, and I think we are moving. But because it's all this single texture, ice, uh, it's, it's as though nothing's happening. I think we're moving. We're, we're turning back now, though. We're obviously not crossing the ocean this way. I just want to get back to shore. Which was a stupid idea. I, though I don't generally don't know how we're getting past the ocean, because this is all water up here. To, there's a crossing to the north, maybe. That's a short bit. Or there's... Um, Actually, yeah, that's probably the best option is to go all the way north and come all the way down south through here to get to wherever it was we were trying to get to. I generally can't remember. Uh, how do I get out of this again? It's M to get out of that and then D to get out of that. And we want to just, just walk back to shore on the ice, preferably before it melts or cracks or breaks or anything. The moment I am thirsty, hungry and nauseous, it looks like. I am moving. Yeah, yeah, right. I am moving, yeah. You just don't get a sense for it, because we were... It was all one texture. Uh, I did say... I said north was probably best, so we'll, we'll continue that kind of a way. There's our crab friend. Is that another crab? There is another crab there. We can cross the ice here. The whole river's frozen over. Do we have a sense of time of day at all? I don't know. Status. Uh, we could sleep or wait a while. Do we get a sense of what time it is now? Nope. How would one tell then? I know it's daytime-ish now because the, uh, the lighting sort of suddenly changed between night and day. At least I think it did. I think we fought the crab in the evening. Slept off the uh, the intestines. What's that? What are you? Hello. A horse crab. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I want you to cease all hostilities. Why is my horse like this? Nitazostra charges at the horseshoe crab. The horseshoe crab is knocked over. Come on, horse. We're, we're getting out of here. I, how dare you? Horseshoe crab did nothing to us. I'm fairly sure. We have a bad fat horse. Are you guys seagulls? Albatrosses. Yeah, same thing ish. 
Seagulls are albatrosses, right? They're, they're very similar. They're in the same sort of family. I see another crab. Keeping the horse away from that crab. I am surprised we haven't had any crashes. Uh... Blind, when he was playing it yesterday, was complaining that he had a few crashes while playing the game. We should just we should use the fast travel menu. I the 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 eventual outcome of this is probably Frog is going to starve to death because I am not managing my food or anything appropriately. My God, the ocean is huge, and I have to move away from it before I can fast travel. Which bit of the ocean am I too close to? Am I too close to it to the south or to the north? Or to the west or the east? Or Just trying to get away from it so I can use the travel menu thingy. Alright, which is shift T. Yeah, we're far enough away now. Okay, and the plan was all the way north around the ocean. It's not that big an ocean, really, is it? What is with the flashing? I don't understand. I don't understand why bits flash sometimes. Is it to indicate something to me? But, but what? I don't know. There's, there's no difference between hovering over this and hovering over this. Nothing changes. There's just a. There's just a flashing. Okay. We'll go. As far as we go, uh, basically to the north, around the, the ocean, which is a big ocean. Oh, cool, 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 cool. You zoom in when you get to close to settlements. But it is a big ocean. This is going to take a while. I'm just doing this. It is a big world. Maybe a smaller world would have made sense for adventure mode, I don't know. Because you generate the same size world in adventure mode as you do in fortress mode. I think the bar along the top is showing me temperature. Hey! Okay, that took no time at all. It's showing blue at the moment. It was red for a bit. Hang on, what's the, the dot coming across the screen? Is that the sun. I think I see a sun icon and a moon icon on the bar at the top of the screen. I think I see a volcano I want to go check out. Definitely want to get as close as I can to that volcano and yeah. We're 100% uh, heading over there. Being distracted by the big, big hot boy. The sound has gotten different. This is a huge mountain. Like, this just goes up and up. Up and up and up. Are we on top of it? We can't be on top of it already. No, we've got we've got a ways to go yet. Uh, maybe head south for the next stretch. Okay, yeah, so some janky terrain that we couldn't cross there. Come on, horse. You want to fight something? We're going to fight a volcano. Or a snake. We could fight a snake. The snake wants to fight. I believe. This king snake wants to fight. Start a conversation with it. Tell it we, we, we mean no harm. That'll take it off guard. Hello, king snake. My name is Esme Bone Girls. Continue conversation. Um, I want to know how you're feeling. I want to avoid any conflict with you. Would you like to join me? We're going up to the volcano. King Snake says nothing, has a neutral attitude. Interesting. Interesting. Um, could you guide me to the top of this volcano? No? Okay. That's very silly. Is it Wanting to attack? Doesn't look like it. It looks safe, actually. Fine. 
Where's the volcano? I want to see the volcano. This looks distinctly... Uh, nope. Okay, a little bit more to the east. And then we, we're there. I've discovered a volcano! Yes! That is what I was attempting to do. What, um... What consequence does discovering the volcano have for, say, me and my horse? Oh, hang on. Uh, cliff face here. We can barely... Can't get up onto that tile. There it is! Okay. There's the volcano. Tree frog and horse. And where's eagle at? Generally, don't know where Eagle is. Um, hey, yeah, I did not realize I could control your movement like that. Where is friend Eagle? Oh, we lost Eagle at some point. Good morning and hello. Hi, Val Shogoth. Good morning to you as well. Hello. I don't know that now we've made it to the volcano. We can do anything. What do you want to do? Jump to the south? No. No, I probably won't jump to the south. That, that doesn't seem wise, actually. Oh, cat. Cat, please. I have a cat on my lap and it's, you know, sat on my cable. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna pull the headphones right off my head, do you? Adventure mode finds me, well, a bit confusing. A bit confusing, because I haven't, I have also not played fortress mode enough to fully understand um, the significance of a lot of things in Adventure mode, my little tree frog guy is going to die of starvation. He's 100% he's going to die of starvation. We, we can take a look at his status. Where's my mouse? Where's it gone? There it is. Um, hungry, very thirsty, drowsy. We have no food. We're low on water. I completely forgot to pick up more water. Um, and we're trying to go all the way around an ocean to get to a location. I'm just not a, a bit directionless in it at the moment. So I didn't have any I didn't have any plans for the little frog guy. We had an eagle friend. Tried to mount and ride the eagle, but that is not an option. I actually I have no idea like what the size of my frog guy is. Because you'd think tree frog man, he'd have to be really tiny, which is why I thought, hey, if you've got a pet eagle, you could surely mount and ride that and that would be brilliant tree frog guy riding an eagle but we just couldn't do it and then we found fat horse which the game described as fat horse we killed a uh we killed a crab we tried to de-escalate we did but fat horse that horse was having none of it actually and now we're going back down the volcano because we we were trying to cross around an ocean not with any particular particular goal even just that we were given the name of a location to the southwest, and there's a massive ocean in the way. It is it is daunting, and it's still in beta, so there's a lot of... Um, we actually need to make our way further down the volcano before we can do this. Hang on. Uh, D to get out of that. Yeah, there's... Um, there's three modes that you can play adventure mode in. There's like just sort of, I forget what they're called, but like a, just a kind of wanderer mode where you've got no uh, outside help. There's the hero mode where you're supposed to have a little bit of guidance from like, you can talk to the townspeople at your starting location and maybe they give you some guidance. I did try that. Hey, eagle? That looked like eagle. We no longer have eagle, we just have fat horse. Uh, and there's a there's a mode that's not yet implemented because it's still coming soon, which was like, you're the you're the child of a supernatural being, and they will, they will, they will assist in your journey. Essentially, I think basically it means there's, you're going to get lots of guidance text, like you're going to have a thing to do, you're going to have a quest to go on, which we just don't at the moment. So, tree frog has just been. Wandering around, found a horse, started riding the horse. I should get some... Well, I should get some more meat, really. I'm not sure 
Actually, I'm not sure what tree frogs eat. Maybe, maybe the intestines were not a good idea for tree frog. I don't know how to dismount horse either. Is it? Um, I think if I right click on my space, I can. I can get into combat with you. I cannot dismount you. My knowledge. Phil. The water skin with water, yes? Stagnant water. Okay, that's stagnant. That's fine. Probably not good for us. Where is my water skin? Water and stagnant water. That's going to mix, though, because it's in the same container. I assume it's going to mix. Oh, it really only... Okay, its quantity is three, so we only get three drinks out of it. That seems to be what's implied by the fact that I just... I started with three water, drank two, and I've filled it again just now. And it's back up to... Hello. Ooh, a lion. Very tempted to fight the lion. All right, come, come along, horse. Let us try to... The lion is already backing off. Let us try to lure it into a false sense of security, horse. Start a conversation with the lion. Lion, we want you to cease your hostilities. Let us stop this pointless fighting. Then we approach. Actually, lion is lion is getting away from us. Lion does not want to uh, fight. Horse, can we uh, get to like a canter? Should do it. A bit faster. Get close enough to. Oh, lion! Oh no! Now the lion's running. The lion does not want anything to do with this. Okay. Okay. We asked it to cease hostilities, and it did. It does work. Um, horse, 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 horse. Set movement options. Back to a trot, I guess. I don't know. If I can check your status. No health problems. You're fine. Quite susceptible to disease and very slow to heal. But somehow you're doing okay. I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know if horse needs to eat or drink. Like Frog does. I have no idea what happened to Eagle. Eagle is gone. I need to look up what creatures in Dwarf Fortress are even mountable. Because it was just... I didn't know whether the Eagle was going to be mountable or not. I just kind of wanted it to be because it would have been pretty dope to be an Eagle... Uh eagle-mounted tree frog wielding a sword. Uh, but we found Fat Horse. We've seen various other creatures that might have been mountable, but just not sure. We considered getting a house cat, Oscar, just like you, and a tree frog could have ridden the cat as a steed, but I don't know if that's possible either. Just because I, th I figure tree frog should be a small man. That looks like a snake, right? Muscular rattlesnake. Very muscular rattlesnake. I'm going to fight a rattlesnake horse. Uh, let's not start a new conversation with you. Let's just attack the muscular rattlesnake. Really, really start fighting it. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how we handle fighting. It just sort of happens by itself. We punch the muscular rattlesnake in the tail from behind with our left hand bruising the muscle. Why with our left hand? We should be wielding a sword. Uh, the fat horse, Nita Zostra, kicks the mus muscular rattlesnake in the body from behind with his left front hoof bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. The muscular rattlesnake is propelled away by the force of the blow. Uh, I think I can just pass a turn by pressing the period key. Yes, I can. 
The muscular rattlesnake's body skids along the ground, bruising the fat. Nitazostra uh, kicks the muscular rattlesnake in the left eye from behind with his left front hoof, and the injured part collapses. The muscular rattlesnake slams into an obstacle. Nitazostra kicks the muscular rattlesnake in the head from behind with his right rear hoof, and the injured part collapses. An artery has been opened by the attack. The muscular rattlesnake has been knocked unconscious. The muscular rattlesnake has been struck down. Okay. Still don't know how to unmount my horse, but... Why can't I... Is it because... Craft or butcher is coming soon. We cannot butcher animals. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how you get food, except maybe, um, some horse. What is this? Uh, pick squash leaf, leaf, sorry. Uh, you pick the squash leaf with your left hand. Yep, very specific. You can do that again. You pick up the squash leaf and put it in your one humped camel leather backpack. You can apparently keep on doing that. There's maybe just a lot, a lot of leaves, not actually much squash there. Because it didn't ask us if we wanted to pick the squash. It said squash leaf, melon leaf, melon vines. We're not actually getting like melon from it, are we? Probably the best thing to do would have been to like raid the food around the towns. Melon leaf, melon leaf, but that one looks to be. These both were melon leaf. This one here, and this one here, melon leaf. But they look to be at different stages of growth, so maybe there's a whole growth system there. Um, inventory. I'm looking for... Probably got sorting options, right? Hmm. Squash leaf. What will we do with that? View it? It's a squash leaf, okay? Sure is. Drop it, remove it. Eat? I lick the squash leaf. I do not... Uh... Licking is not the same as eating, though, so I don't actually know. Oh, if we could dismount you, horse. How do I do that? Creep straw, walk, canter, gallop. No, 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 no. Genuinely. Jump where? But that's going to be... I am a rider. I'm riding and cannot lie down. Okay. But I want to not be a rider. Is that possible at all? We don't want to get into a fight with Fat Horse. Fat Horse is savage. What is this? Toggle sneaking. Ooh, set combat options. Attack preferences. Okay. Yeah, so we can... So the attacking, the, the combat does sort of happen automatically, but you can set preferences for it. Did not know. Default attack is a charging strike. It looks like we've got selected... Choose default attack according to opponent. Yeah. According to opponent. So it's going to have like a smart system based on like what we think would be, what the game thinks would be the best approach. Freely move between tiles when dodging if necessary. So you've got, you've got dodging. You're right, yeah. And I can uh, basically initiate an attack with anything and then just press the period key to... Uh, let turns progress and uh horse we can't go that way why can't we go that way there are a lot of trees a lot of trees we appear to be in like a forest we can go to the fast travel got distracted by the volcano and what we were trying to do is cross over the north of the ocean 
That horse kicked so many legs off the crab. It also it kicked far fewer legs off the snake. But the snake still went down. I tried my best to de-escalate with the crab, Fruity. You know this. Uh, D. D to finish that fast travel. Hello, big old town. Okay. But I don't want to drop anything. Um, I vomited again, I think. Yeah, Tree Frog is just very nauseous at the moment. But we've arrived at a massive town, actually, with a fort. I'm probably going to leave this here. I don't know if we'll be back playing Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode Beta anytime soon. Are you wanting to talk to me? Hello? Bye, skip turn. No, you just wanted to go past me. I, I do want to talk to you, though. Greet and... Ah, hello, I'm Asatired Blue. Okay. I'd love to continue our conversation if you would stop running away from me. Um... Where is it? Inquire about any troubles. That would be the best thing, wouldn't it? The army of Rickgo Dawnscribe is marching on Wooden Love. But the, the problem is, like, nothing really sounds like a quest or anything. I could ask you where that person is, or where Rislu Wadwheels is, who I must have heard about earlier. Do you know about this dude, Rislu? Mischief Cried is in the Trust Hills. Okay. Okay, dude. We probably don't return with uh, Tree Frog, although I'm surprised that Tree Frog survived. Just because of uh, Blind's uh, tutorial discussing the different types of animal person that you could uh, you could take on, and how if you pick a, a smaller smaller creature man, you're probably going to have that problem of not being able to carry enough food to get by. Whereas Tree Frog's done all right. I mean, we are yes, we are. If we check our status, we are very thirsty, quite hungry, and still drowsy. But that's more my neglect than it is any problems with Tree Frog Guy. As long as Tree Frog Guy stuck to rivers um, and collected water for his water skin from, on from those rivers, uh, and hauled around plenty of food and had a mount which could carry all of his food, which he does now, he's got fat horse. Then Tree Frog is a very viable little character to play as. And I love that. I love all the options of of all the the different um creature man stuff. What are we doing by the way? Is this spattering of water? Why are we leaking water? Genuinely, why? Water covering. Oh, because it's raining. That's why, isn't it? I can hear the rain. It's raining. That's why. And so, everywhere we go, we're 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 dropping water. How's our status then? Our status is fine in the rain. But I, I have to assume we could get things like um, like proper rain clothing and stuff. Yo yo! Oh my God, Andy's cool channel. Hey, how you doing? If you can find any sort of sack, you can use that instead of a water skin. It'll hold like 50 or 100 units of water. That is good to know. Uh, adventure mode is not out yet, Andy. This is the the beta. Uh, it's in public beta, though. If you if you subscribe to the public beta channel on Steam, you can get access to the adventure mode, which is not yet finished. It's like really early. We are a frogman, yeah. It's in beta, yeah. Um, I was watching Blind play it yesterday on his stream, and he had several crashes. I've not had any crashes. Uh, but I, I don't know what I'm doing, so... Just another 20 years of beta. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's good! I've had fun. I've just been really directionless. We, we fought and killed a crab. Fruity's devastated by this. We try, I, tried to dis I tried to converse with the crab, but the my horse was having none of it. So we, we killed the crab, and then we couldn't get any meat from it. 
The Frogman portrait is is adorable, yeah. I really want to get into it. Like the adventure mode seems a lot of fun. I just it Dwarf Fortress in no sense has clicked for me yet. But the the incident with the crab was brilliant and so it might inform my future plays of the game. Why does he disdain power for someone so clearly powerful? I don't know. The uh the the power disdain thing was uh, that was something selected during the personality stuff. Um Avoid fights isn't actually true. I think we, I think we can, um, I, I, I can attest to the fact that we have not been avoiding fights. Adventure mode is super obtuse. Interacting with people is weird, but you can wrangle some real good fun out of it. Yeah, we had, we had fun. It was good, but it is confusing, and half the features are not yet implemented. Like we can't um, craft or butcher. That's still coming soon. We can't use ability. I don't know what abilities Frog Guy has, but we can't use any. I don't know how to unmount my horse, so that's another thing. Um, continue active wrestling is coming soon. We can wrestle, but uh, we can't continue active wrestling. We can do it via the uh, the interaction menu, though. I do have a ranged weapon. I have nothing left to fire. Okay, so... When I was doing my character setup, I did pick a bow, but I did not pick arrows, I guess. Now that's fine. No, I really want to get a sense of what this dude is. We could yield to opponents. We've not done that because we're a brave little frog who has been perfectly fine, actually. Like, what's our status? What's our health? We're just hungry, very thirsty, and drowsy, but like... Do we have, like, hit points at all? Wounds? No wounds? We're fine. We're, we're totally fine. Little frog guy has survived. Frog girl has survived. And we're a rider, and I don't know how to unmount the freaking horse. I played a bit of fortress mode, and it didn't click with me. Really wanted it to, but like in my uh, my game, which it's on YouTube, but it just didn't click for for as long as I played it. Nothing really happened. Nothing exciting. Really unhealthy amount of fortress mode over the last few months. That explains a lot. Is that where you've been? I did sleep on the horse, yeah, Fruity Spruce, because like we, I, I can't unmount it. How do I unmount a horse? I'm going to start a conversation with the horse. I'm going to talk about unmounting. Hello, horse. Hello, Lancer Balanced. Are you stalking a dangerous beast? <laughs> Great. I love this tree frog. This tree frog's excellent. Um, let's continue our conversation. I want to tell the horse a rumor. Summarizing the conflict in which a crab attacked Lancer Balanced. A few days ago... Wow, it was really that long. Okay. A few days ago, a crab attacked Lancer Balanced in the field of combat. Did you know? Did you know? Continue conversation. Did the crab the crab did not attack us? I distinctly remember selecting attack crab first. The, yeah, in fact, the crab did no attacking. Field of combat. Were you here for? Oh yeah, because it was called the field of yeah. It was it mentioned it in that yeah. We were in a place called the field of combat. I was very confused as to. What that actually was? Was it just a field of combat, or was it a place called the field of combat? Turns out it was a place called the field of combat. Ask about somebody. Ask about the human. Horse is not a great conversation list. What I probably will do is um, adventure mode is in beta, so I I don't know if I'll play it again anytime soon, but I'll probably revisit it as it gets updated, and eventually when it actually releases. We'll definitely play it. And I think Tree Frog is a great character. I would love to play another Tree Frog. But you can pick companions as well, and we'll maybe do that because we can have more help on hand. And probably pick a mount that we can actually mount rather than an eagle, which we couldn't. Did I mention the eagle, Andy? We I I selected an eagle because I wanted to be able to I wanted to be a tree frog wielding a sword, riding an eagle into battle, and I thought that would be brilliant, but it would not allow me. 
The eagle's gone now, though. I don't know what happened to it. It does sound incredible, but the game just... You can't mount an eagle, apparently. I'm not sure what creatures you can mount in Dwarf Fortress. A horse that we found. We found what the game described as fat horse. Uh, we were able to mount. But nothing, nothing more than that. Where are we on the map, by the way? Well, okay, good, good, good. We're on the other side of the ocean I was trying to get around. I did not realize that it had been a few days since um, uh, since the incident. I originally couldn't get used to the Steam release, but once you're used to those graphics, you can't go back. I tried so hard to get into the ASCII version, but couldn't learn it. And when I was trying to learn it, the graphical release was coming on Steam like a few, like a month or so anyway, so I, I I left it until the Steam release and got into that, and this I can understand. Because if, if you showed me the old, the classic version of Dwarf Fortress, I wouldn't be able to tell a damn thing that was happening on that screen. Although there are some pretty decent tile sets for it that do make clear a lot. Z-Levels to me in ASCII like 15 years ago had no clue. Yeah, that that especially in Dwarf Fortress would get so confusing. I've discovered a river. I don't know why it announces this every time, but I have. I've just I've discovered a river. Can I actually fill from the river? And will it be like, um, whilst I go to my water skin, where the hell is it? Where's my? There it is. Can we empty this? Drop where? Remove the... Eat. No, that's... Eat it. No, 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 no. Name it. Throw it. Yeah, let's try filling it with water. It's already full. Yeah, but that water's stagnant. I don't want the stagnant water. I want to... Empty it, if at all possible. Hang on. Drop... Where, remove, put, eat or drink, interact with a different way, fill, fill, throw, name. There's no empty. Do I... It's maybe the water itself that I need to... Which... Yeah. Can I drop... Ah, oh God. What am I doing? Can I drop the stagnant water I empty the, the the water skin, yeah, of like one stagnant water, is that right? We still have some intestines, yum Um, water skin oh, you empty it completely, okay, so even though I selected the one thing, we've actually emptied the thing completely can I now fill not the backpack, the water skin with this water, with water okay, so Water from a river is running water. It's clean. It's not stagnant. That's great. That's good to know. That's all I really wanted to know. Uh, probably didn't discover it. No, there's a bridge across it. So someone else definitely got here first. You've discovered a Tesco, yeah. Quaff that shit. Quaff it real good. Quaff the stagnant water. No, I'm not quaffing the stagnant water. We we, we emptied the stagnant water. Um, frog person. I'm actually going to end the stream now. Because we've navigated around the ocean. And I have no idea what else I'm doing. But if I, I... I will... Yeah, genuinely, I had more fun doing this than I thought I was going to. So we probably will be back with Adventure Mode eventually. 